Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem. So we have a mission to do today, but before we do that, we have some supports. So, who have we got? We have Shamir and Kaspar's final support. Okay, so this is basically Kaspar. It's a continuation of his Petra stuff, basically, as well. It's the, um... Oh, my father was fighting against your nation in this war, and I'm guilty about it. That was basically the plot of how this was going, so let's see where it goes now. You fought well in that battle. You've improved. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. True. What? Come on! You're supposed to disagree and compliment me instead. Fine. In the past, you were reckless. Lately, you are less so. You are more considerate of your allies, and much easier to fight alongside. Whoa, now that's, that's enough. Getting compliments from you is... kind of weird. But I get what you mean. I feel safer on the battlefield when you're out there with me, too. I always trust that you've got my back. I guess we make a good team. I can't disagree. Hey, do you remember that time I saved you and almost got myself killed? You were pretty mad. That actually had a big impact on me. After that, I decided I had to be able to save you without getting hurt myself. So I started paying more attention. I read your movements in battle and stayed out of your way. Before I knew it, it was almost like I could read your mind. An interesting concept. We have become a very efficient team, but you will never understand my thoughts. Not true. I know exactly what you're thinking. Then prove it. What am I thinking right now? Right now? Uh... Let's see. You, uh... You're thinking that I'm a reliable ally in battle, and you'd like to keep fighting by my side. And you think we're connected. Yeah, that's right. Even though we come from different places, you feel a bond. I don't think that's what she's thinking at all. <sighs> that was all just wishful thinking, wasn't it? I guess I'll never know what's actually going on in your head. Wishful thinking? Huh? Oh, I probably said too much. No, keep going. You did indeed. You'll excuse me? I gotta go find a hole to bury my head in. Don't worry. Your wishes aren't so far from the truth. Now, shall we be off? Huh? Wh what do you mean? It Shamir, wait! The way Shamir just deals with people. It's brilliant. Right. Ooh, now we have Lysithia and Lintart's final one. So we're going to find out something about Lysithia's crests, you'd imagine. Let's see. Uh, you seem to have lined up your desserts very meticulously. Never mind. What you see before you, Lysithia, is a life choice. Oh, really? The most skilled pastry chef in the army has been asked to do the impossible in the heart of wartime. Source high-quality ingredients, employ advanced baking methods, and create these two pastries. Wow, you've put a lot of thought into this. May I? Of course. You can have but one, though, and it should be noted that they taste completely different. I thought I'd split them between us, seeing as they were made so carefully and are so very, very special. I see. This is symbolic, of course. Ah, thanks. So, what exactly is the life choice you mentioned? Which crest would you like? Also, if you are not partaking, I'll just go ahead and eat them both. Ooh, wouldn't do that. Oh no. For you see, if you eat one, you simply cannot, must not, eat the other. Should you eat both, a pair of ingredients, one in each pastry, will combine to poison you. That seems unnecessarily intense. Just one won't kill me, then? Of course not. But making this choice means you will not be able to taste the second dessert. Ever. No matter what I tell you, you'll never know which one tasted best. And if you are underwhelmed by your choice, you'll regret your decision forever. You get into some existential areas here, Lintart. Let's line it up a little bit. So... I should just pick one and be done with it. But you've already chosen, haven't you? Not between the pastries, but your life paths. 
You would gamble on the chance of living a long life, even if it meant losing your two crests, correct? Hence my current choice. Wait, whose choice are we talking about now? A shortened lifespan doesn't necessarily mean a short life. Even with two crests, you might live a long time. And with you around, the study of crests will undoubtedly reach previously unimagined levels. Oh, I thought the choice was between the two crests. The choice is whether Lintart helps or not. Oh, wow. Uh, I didn't think that was a question, but I guess it is. On the other hand, getting rid of them could help someone that I care about. Maybe. Or maybe it won't help at all. Unfortunately, one never knows until they eat the pastry. Even then, you can never taste them both. Hang on, Linhart. Do you mean to tell me you care about me? Since when? That's the part of that that you... that you noticed? You didn't notice the part where he's considering not helping you not die. Like, he's considering not helping you live because it might improve his research. That, but you picked up on the part where he says he cares about you? Anyway. When indeed. You are someone I care about though. So much so I wish we could be family, you and I. Family? That escalated rather quickly. Although, having more family does sound nice. Anyway, I need to be going. Oh, and feel free to eat the pastries. I made up the poison bit because I didn't know how else to say what I wished to say. And because... Well, because I believe there are choices we can make where you can have both. I'll show you somehow, before the war is over. Are you sure these aren't poisoned? Linhart, wait! Wait! Wait, that's it? That was the end? I assume something has to trigger at some point based on that being finished. That's the only thing I can think of. Maybe a power log? Like maybe a power log's opened up, although Lintart's power log is with Leone, so I guess not. Hmm. I wonder what that That's gotta trigger something. Or it just triggers an epilogue thing. Yeah, potentially. Anyway. Lintart, Petra. This is their final one. Let's go. Linhart, please accept my apology. You are not deserving of this punishment. I am the one who suggested it would be great firewood. I suppose it's only fair I get punished too. No one ever bothered to inform me that pile of trash was the property of the Imperial Army. Ah, uh, this is where Petra said she needed some fuel for a fire and he said, oh, there's a bunch of old books or something or old property in this locked up area off to the side. And then... She was like, oh, you're so smart. My apologies, Petra. My idea turned out to be worthless. It was not worthless. It had great worth. You gave me great help so I could be smoking all of that meat. I give you all of my gratitude for that. Well, at least you'll have no worries about provisions. I just realized they didn't actually tell us when the punishment will be over. You can be leaving if you are wanting to. I will not be telling anyone. This is my responsibility to take. How are you so obedient and yet so passionate at the... Oh, look, Petra, the book you were searching for. The Complete Guide to Fodlin's Wildlife. I have so much happiness. You are full of amazement. <laughs> well, books are my field of expertise. Still, what a stroke of luck. Linhart, can I be asking you something? What's that? You are no longer saying I am bothering you. Instead, you are helping me with my requests. What is the reasoning? Why am I not bothering you now? Hmm, interesting observation. I wonder why that is. You always ask me so earnestly. You seem to throw your entire being into all that you do. I guess I rather like it, working as hard as you do. On occasion, that is. You are liking the hard work? Yes, you inspire me to be, well, something that is not normally me. If you are liking it, then I will keep working hard. With your wisdom, I can be working even harder than before. That means I will be needing your wisdom from now onward. 
With my strength and your wisdom, there is nothing we can't be doing. I think you may be right. Your strength and my wisdom? That sounds like a wonderful combination. Okay. Uh, that one seemed a little odd. Like it didn't really go anywhere. It, it was kind of the conclusion of a previous one, but it was just like, yeah, there it is. Uh, do we have any certifications to do before we jump into this thing? Because what's this tier? Excuse me, beginner, intermediate, advanced. Oh, oh, yes. That's the side story stuff. So these are the DLC classes that we don't have access to because I haven't done it. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, what class are we on now? Wait, no, we are on Armored Lord, right? Yeah. Uh, have we maxed Armored Lord? Let me just check. Armored Lord, no. So we might as well just stay on Armored Lord. I mean, we, uh, we could get her a different advanced class. Actually, wait, she can't get Master Class? Oh, she's just not eligible. The only one I guess would be Great Knight. Yeah, when she doesn't have riding. Fair enough. Hubert, uh, you have none of these because you don't have uh, your riding high enough. Yeah, your riding or your lance. We are actually doing riding and lance on him, aren't we? Uh, goals, Hubert, riding and lance. Yep, exactly what we're doing on him. Ferdinand, ooh, you have a chance at Holy Knight. 50%. Let's do this. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm liking it. That is a holy night. And a stat boost. Magic. Yes. And res. Future is bright. Ooh. Yes, definitely switch. Uh, he maxed Paladin, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he did. Uh, oh, one thing I should do with him. I completely forgot to do a quick ability check on the, some of the people who got abilities. Uh, let me just quickly scan through. I don't think there's too much new in here. Uh, there may be some things we want to switch, but I don't imagine this is going to be too difficult. Life Taker is a new one. Unit recovers 50% of HP equal to damage. I actually really don't like Poison Strike and I really don't like Rally Resistance. I think they're not as good as I thought they would be. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Rally Resistance. I... I really don't like rallying on a turn. And it gives us a way to use Hubert in a little bit of a different way. Potentially we can use him now more as a magic tank. Where basically we chuck him in front of a mage. And then they hit us. We hit them and we heal back. Yeah. Oh it's after defeating a foe. Oh. So it has to actually kill them as well. You could still potentially do that if you can kill them in one shot. But anyway. Uh, this was fine. This one is also fine. Fine. Uh, I think that might be the last one, but let me just double check that before... Oh, lethality, yes. Chance to instantly kill a foe when dealing damage. Trigger is percentage 0 0.25 times by dex. Okay. Uh, well, let's go work out what that is. What is her dex? Her dex is 29, so 29 times by 0 0.25, it's basically a quarter. We're talking like 7.5, 7, some, seven between like 7 and 7.5, something like that. Which is actually really high. Is that right? I, I need to do, let me just get a calculator here. Because uh, it's so good that I'm like, that can't be right. Times by 0 0.25. 0 point. Five. That is. Wait, nope. I completely did the wrong thing. I don't know what I was doing. So it's twenty-nine times by zero point two five. Yeah, seven point two five, which is exactly what I said. Yeah, so a seven percent chance when you deal damage of just killing someone. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing, especially if she attacks multiple times. That's just like. That's fantastic. Um, that should definitely be equipped. Lethality. Uh, trade for... Ooh. This is a difficult one. Probably close counter. Yeah. We take away our ability to counter attack. She doesn't really need that. If we take put her into melee range, we should just give her a sword. And with that, I want to make sure that she has a brave uh, bow. We didn't have any brave bows available because I'm out of money. 
Um, let me just see. First of all, actually, let's see if there are any for sale. Uh, and then I'll see what else I want to do here. Uh, do we have a brave bow? Oh, there's no brave bows for sale anyway, so she would have to have one repaired, probably. Um, because the reason she's not got one equipped is because they're not all broken. Let's have a look here. Do we have a brave brave bow plus? Needs a tiny bit more money. Okay. Oh, I also need to uh, replenish our battalions. Ah, there goes more money. Okay, so I need to get like a thousand gold. Uh, what can I? S Maybe I can probably sell in the armory some stuff. Let's see what we got here. Uh, what could I sell? Probably I could sell these iron gauntlets because we have um, iron gauntlets plus. So never using those. What else am I gonna use? We could sell some of the ones that only sell for, or like that only uh, sell for seven. Well, not a huge deal. I'm kind of looking for bigger ones. I should clean this out at some point, uh, but I haven't. This isn't actually that useful, the axe that poisons foes. I'm just going to take it. Fights don't usually go on that long. It's more useful for an enemy to have it than for us to have it. Right, let's repair that brave bow for Petra. Or the, it wasn't at, although it's for Petra, she doesn't have it equipped yet. Brave bow plus. Let's repair that up. Uses some of our wood steel, but... There you go. And that now means that she is a thing that can attack often four times, and it can, each time it hits, is a chance of critting, and each time it hits, is a chance of killing instantly. That's crazy good. Um, probably instead of the training bow that I gave her. Yeah. Uh, we'll give her the brave bow plus. Yeah. Cool. That seems good. Uh, anyone else? So we're on Petra, Mercedes, probably isn't coming, neither are you, neither are you, neither are you. And yeah, everyone else is pretty good. You're fairly good as well, I think. Yeah, this is all the kind of stuff that we need on. Cool. Uh, combat arts, we didn't get any new ones of those, I don't think. Italian should all be correct, because we didn't do any cheese stuff. As in, we didn't save any cheese stuff. So, mission time. Let's go. Hopefully. Ooh. Let's go. Um, protecting Garrick Mark. Absorbing the Alliance brings the Empire one step closer to a unified Fodlan. The Black Eagle Strike Force ugh, returns to Garrick Mark to plan its invasion of the kingdom, unaware of the enemy lurking in the shadows. Dun dun dun. This is the one where we thought that potentially um, our friend, who is it, Ra um, Rudolph, is going to have some problems. Following the Alliance's defeat, Randolph. the Black Eagle Strike Force prepares to invade the kingdom. But the kingdom's new allies, the Knights of Seros, begin to make an advance of their own. After appearing in ALL, the Valley of Torment, and following the border south, the Knights of Seros openly marched to recapture the monastery at Gerig Mach. Okay. Oh! Nice. New characters on that list. Interesting. Protecting Garrick Mark. Crimson Flower Chapter 15 Tempest of Swords and Shields. Raid from the north! Their flag bears the symbol of the Knights of Seros. One of our troops has already intercepted them. Your Majesty, please give us your orders. From the north? Interesting. Could it be they journeyed through Aelo, the Valley of Torment? Is the Archbishop among the enemy ranks? If so, focus our attacks on her first. Understood. Our enemy knows Garrick Mach inside and out. They can come and go as they please. It would have been best if we had detected them sooner, but that can't be helped. Professor, we must hurry and intercept them ourselves. I'll leave the preparations to you. Okay. Huh. The battle looks to be rather cumbersome. We are still guarding all of Garrig Mach, but there are undoubtedly numerous secret passages and magic traps. There is still much about this place that we do not know. It is quite possible they will attack from a location we cannot anticipate. 
I must head out first to give my orders. I'll meet up with you soon. Call for General Randolph and General Ladislava. Hurry! Ooh, I have a bad feeling about this, Randolph. He has a sister, and that's not going to end well. Yes. It feels like only yesterday we called this place our home. Oh, we get to see a little bit of Flane and Seteth. We must show these fools the error of their ways. They shall pay for the sin of invading Garrig Mark. Oh, but the professor is fighting alongside our foe. The same one who saved my life. That is true. Though I find forgiveness difficult, we do owe that wayward soul a debt. However, the fact remains that because of the professor, Rhea has long been tormented. To think that the vessel of the goddess, entrusted with the sword of the creator, could go on to... Ugh, it angers me to even think of it. All that has happened has changed Rhea. I imagine it has changed the professor as well. Even if we prevail, I doubt that the church can ever fully return to the way it once was. Um, brother? Dear Flane, I only brought you with me because you were so insistent. Still, no matter what happens, you must not go near the front lines. Oh no. I have a bad feeling about Flane as well. If something were to happen to you, it would utterly destroy me. You are my reason for breathing. Do you understand? I... I understand. If something were to happen to you, it would break my heart. I could not go on either. I cannot help but wonder. If there is a way to end this without fighting the professor. Oh, okay. That's opened up possibilities I didn't expect. Uh, I think, though, probably what's going to happen is we're going to shoot Flay and she is going to be well dead. And then Seteth is going to be extremely mad. That's just my thoughts about what might happen. We'll see though. We'll see though. We get to see all the cats and dogs while we wait. Um, yeah, I was kind of hope uh, there was like almost a chance for a little bit more lore, but just not quite. Oh, we're just right in here. Oh, okay. Uh, no chest, which makes sense. See, so we got who? We got anyone? Yeah, we got Seteth. We've got um, Aloise. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Oh, and we got a huge broken bit at the right. Was that always there? Uh, maybe it was always there. In fact, yeah, I think that was always there. Never mind. Um, okay, so we kind of split into two groups. Uh, an ambush happens here, would be my theory. Or, Aloise kills a ton of people. That's possible. Um, okay, so on the left, we need... Probably one archer who's going to kill this person and then transition back into the center group. And then two who can basically play by themselves. Probably somebody who's able to kill Aloise. So we're looking at a magic user. Um, and then somebody who can get that archer at the back. That could be just somebody who can move quickly. Hmm... Well, let's use Bernadetta, because she's long range to kill here. It's got... Yeah, the problem is it's also got these as well. It's got this thicket, which is a slight problem. Um, This might be a job. Oh, wait. Let me just check we got the right group. Uh, Actually, we did have the right group. So, Hanuman is going to be... Ooh. Yeah, we want Lysithia to be in. Is there anyone I can drop? Not really, I'd have to drop Shamir. I could. But Shamir is so much better than Lysithia. Where is... No. I kind of want Lysithia in. Because I want Hanuman to have a thing with Lysithia. That's the only reason I want Lysithia in. Although Shamir might... She probably doesn't have cool things to say. Um, right. So, Shamir and Manuela. We need to look at supports for them. And see who we've got. So, Shamir needs a support with Hubert. Manuela needs a support with Dorothea or Ferdinand or Edelgard. Let's go for Edelgard. Right. Let's go Ferdinand. Sorry. Uh, Edelgard gets Manuela. And uh, Hubert gets Shamir. Right. 
Okay. Now we've done that, and we have our group. Uh, that would... I think what we're going to do is we're going to replace you with... Actually, I think Petra might be great at this side. She could actually potentially deal with that guy as well. Oh, no. We need somebody who can deal... Yeah, the whole problem was we needed somebody who could deal with a tanky person. But actually, we don't really... No, I'm going to swap you back in here. You, um, I might use Lysithia back here. Lysithia kills this one, right? We then move in with Fer Ferdinand can probably be the one who kills... Uh, maybe getting a church soldier with Ferdinand. That's a bit difficult. Uh, you know what? The church soldier... Well, it could be got by Petra. Let's replace Ferdinand with... Let's do that. Okay, so this group's become a lot different. Yeah, so somebody gets that one. Uh, and then we hope that somehow these two can either hold on or do something. Maybe lethality their way out of it. Lintart's in the perfect position. He can heal. Um, you're okay. You just need somebody to run past you on turn one. Okay, I, I don't really like our first turn here, but let's try this. I'm going to save as well. Okay. Fights. Defeat all enemy commanders. We fall in battle or the defended location is captured. We were successful in sneaking up on Garrick Mach. All that's left is to break through past this point. Lady Rhea and Catherine are holding back most of the Empire's army. Oh, do you think the one in the middle is Shamir? If you haven't recruited Shamir. Probably. Yeah, that would make sense thereby leaving us, the Expeditionary Force, free to recapture the Monastery. Our enemies have followed us even here. How unfortunate. Your Majesty, the enemy's movement is suspicious. We may have some tactic in mind. If so, then let's face them without delay. Form defensive lines and hold them to the death. Their troop composition is... Sorry. If so, then let's face them without delay. Form defensive lines and hold them to the death. Strike down all who approach. Their troop composition is also strange. I would bet that they are concealing additional soldiers. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Ambush. Makes sense. The Knights of Seros are closing in on the monastery. Do not allow them to capture any protected locations. Hmm. This is not good as a start. Alright, can you attack from square. here? You have nothing that can attack another square. Not even if I get you there. Ooh, you could gambit and that would hit them. It'd also break it open that square, which might allow the one further back to move. Let's have a look at that. The one further back, move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we should be fine with that. So let's use the gambit here. Well, hmm, do I want to waste a gambit? I could actually just hold back on this side. There's no reason for them to do anything. Potentially what I do is I just retreat back. Yeah, I could just retreat back this turn. And then let somebody tank the center like uh, Yuritsa. What's my strategy? Okay, I like that. I like that as a first turn. It's not particularly, you know, brave, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be brave. We'll try it. If it doesn't work, Ready I mean, what's anything. the worst that happens? Uh, ooh, we also have. Yeah, we have ward and heal. Nice. Um. How far can you run? More fighting. Yeah, that's why I was holding back a second there. Wait, we'll take a step back. And move you reach the safe square. Where is he good? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, no, don't do that. That sounds horrible. Uh, just make sure you have the... Oh, his silver sword's a little broken. He's actually got a lot of broken stuff. Yeah, uh, that's a problem. Okay. Of the Levin sword. Uh, here. Put me in there. Step forward. I will prevail. Step forward. We could just attack um, using yeah using that. Go for it. Ja! 
It's cool. Yeah, that's fine. Not a problem. Oh, you could also attack I do here. This for all of us. Uh, dead eye. Using the iron bow. Not a very high chance of hitting, is it? Do it. Yeah, okay. It's fine, it got his XP. I'm awake. Nah, don't do that. Right, hold back. Wait. They're gonna start moving forward. It's okay. That's brilliant. Love it. The enemy is transporting large quantities of flammable material into the woods. They clearly intend to attack us with fire. We should do all we can to prevent it. Aloise and the Knights of Seros are preparing a fire attack. Defeat them quickly to foil their plan. Troops waiting in the woods to ambush? We must avoid any suspicious areas as we advance. Okay. Um... Well, I'm just going to say that standing here and using Hunter's Volley seems really good. Uh, yeah. Do that. I'll be home again soon. Wyvern Company upgraded. Lots of physical attack. Love it. Okay. That was a good first move. Next one, I think Hubert just needs to attack over this wall. Yep. Solid. Ooh, can uh, get Lintart to grab a kill there? Possibly. Yeah. I'll do what it takes. Like it, like it. We're just moving them back. Yeah. If I move, let's just check something. If I move you out of the way, it does not increase his radius. So that is his actual radius there. Okay. Interesting. Um, how much damage do you do? Not that much. Okay. So we could potentially just block that over there. Could, oh, if we got rid of this guy, we could potentially just sit right there and block? Yeah, we could. That would work. What's your range? Okay, good to know. Uh, minus you. Okay, so this is our range for working with. Let's head out. Turn here. Uh, Levin Sword seems like it's going to do a lot. Let's use Aura. Didn't crit, but that's okay. Did alright. Did alright. That now lets me get Edelgard in here. Uh, she can just come in and... Well, she can probably just attack. Nice. Your death is not in vain. That works. I'm gonna head up here, use the Levin Sword. I'm gonna use Wind Sweep so we can't be attacked back. Nice. Then take the steps in there, which should block. And then Ferdinand, let's get you up here. How do you have a higher range? No, okay, you don't. Uh, maybe they have the Hand Axe? That's possible. I just want to see what Nosferatu is like. Nope. Okay. Well. Uh. Let's see. Swift strikes. Ooh, not with that one. Not with that one. Spear of Asala is then. No time for pity. I mean, I could have used Dorothea, I suppose. How can you attack over that wall? That's what I don't understand. He must have passed. That's, that's the only thing I can think of. Hmm, interesting. Uh, do you have... Yeah, he has the ability to pass. Okay. But you're still going to attack Yuritsa, so that's fine. Uh, might just chill here. Yeah, we'll wait there. On this side, I'm thinking we move up this way. 
not well. Sure. The reason I did that will make sense in a second. Boolean is huge. It's so Caspar can run around the corner. I know that we're going into an ambush, but I'm just preparing for what might happen, you know? So, they hit Yuritsa. Yuritsa hits back twice. That's pretty sweet. You hit Edelgard. Okay, not who I expected, but that's okay. Battalion leveled up for her. Ooh, more defense. Wonderful. Oh, she's poisoned. Okay, that's not on. Um, how many restores do you have? You have 20. Yeah, so it's probably worth doing a restore. Uh, let's figure this one out. Uh, what might do? Hmm. See, what I'm trying to figure out is how I get rid of that and then get... I guess I just need to do this. Just walk here. No, no, you don't need to use Dead Eye. You can just hit it. Oh, no, you can't. Okay. That's okay. Authority's up to a B plus. I just wanted to open that up so I can move her along here so she can join either side. Uh... Perfect chance to get our uh, faith up. A boon for our future. Move in here. Ah! Now, come at me, so that I may put you out of your misery. Nope. Ready for it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no. This is the cost. That's definitely a no situation. What's my strategy? Um. What's? Uh, yeah, use thunder. That works for me. More fighting. Ooh, can't walk around. I'll cut a bloody okay. Path. Use my asthma. Works Did you for me. think I'd let you go? I'm awake. Uh, assist, use restore. That gets her, her a little bit healthier. I am going to walk over here and just break this. Just to give us a little bit of better movement. Uh, and then I'm going to walk in here. Dance you up another turn. Thank you. Right. Good. Then we walk over there. We drop in a heal. Huh, a great help. Cool. Then we get extremely paranoid. Put me in there. Uh put the silver gauntlets equipped. I will prevail. You move in here with the uh, silver sword equipped. Let's make this Move him behind. Who hasn't moved? Yuritsa. Understood. Okay. Ooh, so it's probably this square, this square that triggers. Hmm. I do this for all of us. You reckon there's a time limit? There might be a time limit. Hmm. There might be a time limit. That's definitely where the enemies spawn. Hmm. I think I need to move everybody up this turn. Because if I don't move everybody up this turn, we're going to be out of position for when it actually happens. Yeah. That makes sense. Let me test something here. Not the spawn point, which probably means I can take another square here as well. Nice. Okay. 
So we know that the next square aggroes. Can we assume that anyone who goes to the next square will aggro? Maybe. Yeah, okay. Now, come at me so that I may put you out of your misery. Hmm. Okay. Let's just see how this goes. We may need to reload. That's definitely not a very healthy route for you to go. By that I mean you're going to die. Um, if I go up here, I might as well use it as a trigger. Why Why do so many... Is this place where Aloise aggro's from? Uh, not quite. If I move here, does it trigger another set of enemies? Yes, yes it does. Okay. The time is now. As long as we stand here, you shall not pass. That's definitely a rewind situation. Okay. Hmm. So how are we gonna do this? This is intriguing. Okay, so what I think we do, I do this hear me out, is we abandon the defended point and we all head no over fighting. here. Yes, that is the correct move. I'll cut a bloody path. And we all head over to the flame Ready fight for anything. and kill flame. Yeah, that sounds much better. I'm awake. Understood. What's my strategy? Take a step back here. Hopefully, there's no time limit. It doesn't Before seem the like there's a time limit, but there might be. Okay, doesn't seem like there's a time limit. Let's make this, this is probably quick. a safe square. Yeah. Just getting everybody in here. I just, it's a rusted sword. Not good enough. I was going to say, I just need to check. If, if it's something that could be used, then we might want to consider it, given our current situation there. Right, you head over there. Keep going. Keep going. We'll get Edelgard further in. Well done. Should probably heal up the two need healed. Dorothea levels to 36. Feels like fighting is all there is. Okay, up here. Maybe I want to do a stride? Yeah, I probably want to do a stride. I will prevail. Uh, so if I was doing a stride, I would want to hit somebody here. Yeah, I'd want to hit somebody there. So move forward one. Uh, let's see. If I hit them here, it would hit either side and it would hit one behind, I think. Uh, is that right? Let's have a look at stride here for a second. It hits three behind and then one further back. So it hits. So if I was here, it would hit those and then one further back. Oh, so we're good. Yeah. We're absolutely fine once we get in here. So if I head in here, so it would hit three in front. Wait, yeah, so this would hit. I need to move some people, don't I? Uh, so it hit from the person, three behind... Oh, no, yep, okay. We'll sort it out. I hit somebody who's here. It will then hit the three in front. It will hit all of the ones in the current row. I need to hit somebody who's here. That's the answer. I need to go back a row. The reason I need to go back a row is because it gives me an extra slot. There we go. That's the answer. Yep. You go there, because you got high movement anyway. Put me in there. Uh not everybody's gonna get a speed boost. That's okay. This should get us the most people with the speed boost. Let's go. So Gambit? Do this. Oh, it does hit everybody. Ah. Huh. Yes. That's actually perfect. You can do it, you can do it, yeah. Woo. Well 
All right, who is the most useless member of our group? It's Ferdinand. I'm sorry, it's Ferdinand. That is hell. The time is now. As long as we stand here, you shall not pass. Come at me, so that I may put you out of your misery. Okay. So I feel we need to block that. Ooh, you're going to hit Ferdinand next turn. I didn't even realize. Oh, no, you're going to hit him with your... Uh... Not with the Axe of Zoltan, but with the Unagir, right? Yeah, which is going to do a lot of damage. Okay. How are we going to get... Well, how much damage can you do to Aloise? Not that much. Okay. So what do I need to do effectively? I need to kill the two flyers. I need to kill Flame, and I need to kill every magic user. <laughs> and so I need to kill them all. Okay. Head in here. I really hope you can kill one by yourself. Ooh, Resonant Lightning would stop some of that. It would take down one enemy. It's got a really low hit, though. Hmm. This is really difficult. Because we have no control... Like... Just because of how things are, we have no kind of power in this. And they're not grouped, basically. Grouped is our ideal situation. And we have to send someone in to die, which means we have to fight. Hmm. Also wondering who we can send up to the front. I mean, I could send somebody like, um, yeah, Petra. It does seem like somebody has to go at the front, though. Could do absorption. Doesn't really help us too much unless I do. Unless what I do is I head up here and I use absorption. Now nah, it doesn't hit the one I need it to hit. I need it to hit the one who's in front. Can you head up there? You can. Is there a benefit to this? The I was thinking. Hmm. I was thinking if I could stop that guy, it would somehow help. But no, you could still shoot over. You could still attack. See, this is where the problem lies. Hmm. How do we deal with a problem? See, this is why there's a lot of deaths here. is because people don't know how to deal with it. I, I am included in people. The circumstance. Hmm. Hmm. We have too many people who can die in one hit. That's, that's a major issue. She could... Edelgard could kill multiple if I ran in and used her thing. Or she could attack multiple, whether she can kill or not. You know, that's a whole other matter. But I could use Raging Storm here. Kill her. Then move on. And kill another. Potentially. Do it. This makes me terribly sad. But this is my duty, to which I must be true. Hit. Nice. Father, please forgive me. I am returning to Mother now, before you do. Flane! Please, no! I might have cut that off. Uh, okay. Uh... So now what we've done is we've really annoyed Sete. <laughs> we've killed Flane. Okay. Now what? Can you kill one? This is an important question. Yes. But your chances of hitting are astronomically low. See, if I kill this guy, is that... What's your, what's your radius? Your radius isn't very large. Okay, so some of these are actually... Some of these are irrelevant. Okay, that's good to know. So actually, what I can do is I could head over here. And I can try and kill. Resonant Lightning would probably kill here. Do it. Marvel at our strategy. Nice. A waste of time. Level 33 for Hubert. That's solid. 
A laughable improvement, but it's something. Strength. Okay. Well, whatever. Thinking Bernadetta could probably run in here and shoot over the top. Something like uh, this. Except using some of that hits. Uh, does she even need to use Hunter's Volley? Could I not just use the Brave Bow? Uh, Hunter's Volley greatly increases the chances of this working. Do it. Nice. Still here. Okay, that was solid. There's another one down. Uh, you cannot reach, can you? No. Wonder how much damage they do to uh, Ferdinand. I would assume not that much. <laughs> if I head in here, you could definitely. That guy is definitely in range, right? Not definitely. If I move, he's not in range. That square is free real estate. Let's go. Right. Uh. Could just run in here and use assassinate and hope I live with the insane amount it gives me in terms of dodging. Do it. That really wasn't good enough, was it? <laughs> it's not feeling good enough, but you know, that's fine. Uh, hit them with my asthma. Something solid. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Can you get this kill? You can get this kill. How, though, is going to be the difficult part. I think I have to use this. And they both have to hit. Nice. Might makes right. Okay. So we're running down people we need to kill. This this person needs to die. This person needs to die. The rest might be okay. Because she can probably run. She can indeed run. Okay. Which would mean we just need to kill that one and that one. And then hope that we have people who are able to tank magic in front. Ah, uh, we have a bow person who's going to shoot her. It's not a high hit rate, but you know, they are going to hit her. If we go stand next to her, can we kill this person? Uh, not looking like that's a yes. Hmm. Okay. Resonant lightning is 100%, but it doesn't kill. Would keep them still, though. And if I don't think they can kill in one turn, that might work. Okay, so... Switch item to Nosferatu. Run in here. Combat Art. Not Combat Art. Gambit. Resonant Lightning. Go. I can help too. Cool. Everyone helps out. It's time. Nice. That should get us helping Bernadetta, I think. Because of this ability. Yeah, so they take... Uh, oh no, unit, steal, unit deals extra damage. Never mind. It doesn't do anything to help her. Uh, anyway, that's fine. This one's generally okay now. Uh, try it. Child's nice. Level 35. Okay, good. Somebody's attacking that square, and that's these guys. Alright, Edelgard, you need to get the hell out of there. That's fine. That's fine. That's not fine. Okay. 
I'm gonna dance Bernie. I'm gonna try and get her out of there. I needed that. No, I might do. I might dance Bernie here and just attack. I'll get through this. Just to uh, help out a little bit there. Cool. Only the strong survive. Let's try that. You fiend, bearing ill will against the goddess. This place will be your grave. Ah! Was there any more I could have done? Okay, well that's obviously horrible. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. Next bit. Yeah, okay, you eat the dies, because the Yeah, it's fine. No That's absolutely okay. Okay. Wow, that's weird. Okay, that's that is doable. That is definitely doable. Okay. So where do we need to go back to? You reach the defeated church soldier. Yeah. So that was up to here is fine. Understood. Head in there. Do you have a way of killing at range? No, you don't. Oh, so you have to go in. Okay, do I have an alternative solution for saving Bernie? No, the only way to save Bernie no is to boost her. Okay, new plan. Boost yeah. Bernie. Thanks. I do this for all of us. What's your range? Oh, that was your range. Never mind. Okay. Walk over here. Whose range is that? Is that your range or something? I don't know whose range that is. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, whatever. Bernie's gonna walk over here. Oh, it's this guy's range, of course. No, that doesn't kill! Thank you! <laughs> okay. We well, was gonna do two damage off killing and then she saved it anyway. Only the strong survive. With her crest. Then she got some XP for standing there. Okay. Let's move her. Because she needs for to be moved. I think this is fine. <laughs> Try that. I'm not sold. You feel. Miss. Well, that's good. Like the start. Super low chance of hitting. Okay, perfect. No use. Not as low chance of hitting, but still didn't hit. That's zero. Okay. That is perfect. We're alive. We are alive. Look at that. Didn't even take that many attempts. I'll cut a bloody path. Right. Here, I'm feeling a dark spike. Okay, he needs to be dead, but that's okay. We can fix that. So anyone can get that kill. In the center here, we're looking Ready for some for sort of AOE um, gambit. Okay, how are we gonna do that? Who's got the best gambit for that? Probably Lysithia, maybe. I'm awake. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk over here. I'm gonna use warp to warp Lysithia forward. I think we have to kill Aloise this turn. Or at least start getting fighting Aloise, so let's try this. 
If we can't kill Aloise, this changes the situation a little bit. Let's make this quick. But if I use this gambit right here. In this situation. Just a straight no, huh? What a waste. Okay. Uh we can get up here. Okay. Gambit. Blaze. Go for it. Put the plan into action. Nice. Kind of open for a little bit more, actually, in terms of damage. This, you would have been better off just hitting. See, I don't think this is going to be the, the run that survives. Uh... Yeah, I completely missed that one. Yeah, do... Uh, is that gonna kill? Nope. Well, do that then. Yes, I've got you. Frit. Okay, that no works. Scratch won't stop me. I admire you. I mean, there still is a chance. Don't get me wrong, there's a chance. We just need to do two very unlikely things. What's my strategy? Alright, move number one. Head in here with Nosferat. And crit. I did not crit. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well. Head in here. Attack with Meteor. Oh yeah, do that. Good. This is my stage okay. now. So my whole goal was to open up that that space. Yep. Can't shake the vision uh, vision of an ally falling. Run up here. Ooh, we're aggroing someone else. Okay, that's fine. Attack using the rapier for the extra bonus and then use assassinate let's go is that the best one I got I could use killing edge do it yeah. Yeah. No use. well it didn't hit <laughs> I think we're dead so yeah, that was really badly thought out. <laughs> I don't think that the um, Blaze one was I one we needed. Greater strength. I think we probably would have been better just attacking everyone. Let, let's try this. <laughs> well, you're dead. Nope, never mind. Put me in there. Perfect. Attack at your what own an amazing risk. move. Right. I could have just rewound, but I want to see what they do. Okay. That's fine. I just skipped. Wait, Edelgard lived? What? Okay, right. Back to the start here. Back to the start. Getting sloppy. How many do I have? Seven? Six. Ooh, okay. So, before I do anything, let's think about what I'm doing, which I didn't do last time. I need to kill those two, right? Well, realistically, what do I want to do? I want to kill Aloise this turn. That's my end goal this turn, because otherwise he's going to do 40 damage. Okay, that's a good goal. How am I going to achieve that goal? Well, I need to get somebody to Aloise this turn. Again, rarely... Seems pretty good, right? Um, I'm awake. I could run up here and I could warp Euritsa to Aloise. Euritsa probably cannot kill Aloise this turn. What's Aloise got? Well, apart from extremely high, um, high and heavy armor. His res isn't that good. Crit when using an axe. Defiant blow. Gains defense when HP is low. Weight. Okay, increases hit. Hmm. Okay. 
So magic would actually be fairly good against him, but we do also need to do 70 damage with our magic. More fighting. You can attack him right now and do 27. Okay, so you can do 27 damage. We could warp Yuritsa. We're asking, can Yuritsa do 46, was, was it 46 damage or something? 47 damage? Can, yeah, can Yuritsa do 47 damage this turn? It's not impossible that Yuritsa could do 47 damage. Let's have a look, right? Let's use warp, warp Yuritsa. See, he can't quite reach. So this person needs to die. That's giving us the first goal. This person 100% needs to be I dead. Because otherwise we cannot actually reach the objective. So, how am I going to do that? Because they're not going to die. Uh, I could use my gambit. Definitely, that's not going to work. So, what I'm probably going to have to do is probably going to have to break my way through the front door here. Ready for anything. If I dismount, run in here, uh, I was kind of hoping I'd do a lot more damage with one of these. Hmm. I'll be a no then. Let's not do as much as I wanted it to do. You What's could reach as well. And you could kill. Alright, try it. All is going to plan. The other thing is maybe Aloise doesn't need to die. As long as the only person he can hit is somebody he won't kill. That's also potentially a good way of thinking about it, isn't it? So what if I move forward in the thicket here? Oh, I can just kill somebody straight away. Oh, the chances are not 100, but I'm like, ooh, but maybe. But maybe. Or I can use Assassinate. Use Assassinate. My heart burns oh, it did kill him in one hit. Perfect. What I was thinking there is that by assassinating, um, I've kind of made it like some better targets here, potentially. I don't know. I, I'm just thinking it. You know, thinking it through one moment at a time. If I use this gambit here and it hits, that works really well. Exploit their weak spot. Do it. Because it stops the melee one at the back from moving. Okay. Uh, what's your range? Okay. Good to know. For the Empire. Uh, smash. That will not kill. Use the um the brave axe. No. See, none of those are gonna kill. Line of lances would hit. Just doesn't do what we need it to do. Hmm. Understood. In here? Do it. That's 50-50. <gasps> wow. That's a 50-50. Doesn't ha even, like, think about it. Inconsequential. Okay. I do this for all of us. Uh, Hunter's Volley with the Silver Bow. Blah. Silver Bow. Do it. <gasps> I gotta say, the odds of none of those hitting are very low. Let's make this quick. That's okay. What's your range? Yeah, okay, so the way to beat him is to walk out of the way. Anybody else want a shot at the, <laughs> the guy? Uh, you can have one shot at Aloise. And if you crit, 
Hey, who knows? What's the exclamation mark mean? I don't even know. Does this mean it's gonna kill you in one hit? Really don't do this? I, I didn't mean to click! Oh well, we're dead. We were dead anyway. Whatever, I wanted to rewind. Okay, so back to the start of that. Wait, where were we? We're getting player phase. There we go. Back to this hellhole. Let's think this through again. Logically. So actually we can chuck someone over the top. They just need to be uh we just need for Lundhart to be standing here. Uh to be standing here. Okay, so realistically we can only chuck Edelgard over the top. Because Dorothea, we need to we need to use uh, Meteor to do 27 damage. We know that Edelgard cannot do enough damage by herself, so we need someone else over there. Okay. What's my strategy? Do you have a gambit? No. Does anybody have a gambit I worth using it. here? Uh. Put me in there. Can anyone even reach? You can reach. Okay. What's your gambit? Battleground cleanup. It might work. Use it. Better work. Nice, okay, so that holds the one on the right. But the main thing that it does is it opens up opportunities to do this. Actually, you could probably run past if I can get rid of this guy somehow. Let's see what we can do about that. Ready for anything. Uh, you got a way of killing here? That'll work. Nice. A boon for our future. So that opens up space. Um, you can now get all the way into the center. We don't really want to be here, but do it anyway. That's okay. Must lead them well. So you can now get right in here and attack. You would be attacked by. What's this guy's range? This guy's range must be insane. Oh, it's not that bad. So actually, what we could do is we could walk over here, right? This is safe. Just use the brave bow and just shoot. Yeah, do it. Any of these gonna uh, get the seven percent chance of insta kill? Nope. But that was really good, right? That was solid. More fighting. Uh, take a single step forward. Use meteor on Aloise. Right, so now I can chuck somebody in the back there, actually. I'm awake. No, I'm gonna chuck. I am gonna use. Yeah, it works. I'm gonna use warp to chuck her forward. Yeah, Lysithia. Let's make this quick. I'm gonna walk around here, and I'm just gonna get her to um, go pop. Aloise down. Gerald, I did it. I protected the monastery. No, you didn't. You failed miserably. Right. Lysithia, level 31. Woo. Nice. Axe of Zoltan. Okay. Well, this is interesting. You're not going to kill. You're not going to kill. You would kill. But now we, we need to be a lot less worried of everyone else. I do this for all of us. So we could walk up here and go something like uh, that. <laughs> nice. Pretty good, huh? Then maybe a level. Not quite, but you know, pretty good. For the empire. You can now walk forward. Gets you level 32. It's not enough. You are right, that is not enough. 
the literal Understood. assessment of the situation, which is correct. Thunder. Now, I remember this one put them really low, I so I'm hoping this just path. works. Do it. Nice. Whole side is dead apart from the ones who aren't. Okay. Absolutely fine. Very good. Uh, who needs XP is our next question. Um, Caspar needs XP, probably. I mean, Lysithia probably needs XP as well. Uh, yeah, they're the, actually the same level, which is worrying given how much Caspar has been our, in our group and how little Lysithia has been in our group, but okay. Uh, do this. Not so fast. I just want to point out that he missed two 74% hits. Don't blame yourself. Two 74% hits. <sighs> Maybe there's a reason why he's weak. Ready right. for anything. Kill. <laughs> You know, I refuse to believe it could happen two times in a row. Nice. Might makes right. Let's make this quick. Oh, you can now can't reach. Okay. Uh, who needs it next? Probably uh, Edelgard. Nice. I thought she missed for a second there, but it just has a very slow attack animation. I've still got hidden talent. Right. You, What's my strategy? Uh, get over here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move all of us back to Set where we were before. And think about what to do next. Because we no longer need to be up here. Now this can be used by uh, anyone who is not magic, basically. How much damage does it go. do? None. <laughs> okay. Aloise made it do a lot for us. None. It's probably based off some of like strength. I'm awake. Uh. Let's grab a Thank you. heal onto Ferdinand. So we know that we take another step here, bad stuff happens. So we shouldn't take another step, is the uh, obvious advice and answer, but it's not really what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is. How can we use that, like, More can we use our new position at the site to our advantage, like, can we get any sh uh, kills that perhaps we couldn't get previously? I'll cut a bloody path. Okay. We also need to worry that perhaps we might accidentally aggro people, which is possible. Get through here. Uh, you know what, drop a ward. Well That's fine. Um, yeah, we do need more heals. Yeah, one in there. Thank you. You head over this way. Go up in a heal. Back to the fray. I'm fairly certain what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Petra on a flank, but I just want to wait a second or two before we do that. Start. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 There was a time limit. All right, a second route is open. Well done on this one, too. I was just clicking through the turns. What? Right. Let me Understood. just have a minute to work this out. Okay. I'll cut a bloody path. Uh, how many do I have? I have three divine pulses left. More okay. fighting. This should be fine. Start the fire. Right. Hey, Hubert didn't get hit. 
All right, a second route is open. Well done on this one, too. Everyone takes damage. How much is it? 15% health. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. And we can get out of it. It's kind of a literal floor is lava situation, but you know, there you go. Uh, wait. She's standing on just a square that just doesn't get hit. Okay. What's my strategy? Weird. I'm assuming they're going to start pushing forward now. That would be my guess. Although we did just clear that flank that this opens, so... Bit weird. I'm guessing you weren't meant to clear the flank. Anyway. This is fine. I do this for all of us. Uh, Put me in there. Yeah, get out of there if you can. No Ready reason to hang anything. around. Uh, you might as well mount. Oh, okay, whatever. Whatever. There's been a lot of misclicks this episode. I do apologize. Uh, I have no idea why. I'm obviously just uh, let's make this quick. Not being as careful as I could be. I mean, they're getting hit by the fire now. We're still getting hit by the fire. Okay. Right. Get out of there. Get out of the fire. You're going to get in here, mount. Then you can run out. Wonderful. Got a healing. I know you want. Nice. Head over here. Uh, head over here. Drop in a heal. I'll return the faith. Nice. Yeah, I assume that that was meant to open up the left hand for Aloise to push through, but we already killed them, so that's interesting. Maybe that was meant to be the difficult route. How are we meant to push forward here? We can just wait for that person to die. That's, that's a good answer, but you know. How are we meant to push forward? Because this is all... Oh, well, this isn't on fire. Oh, okay. Only most of it's on fire. Okay. I suppose they can't ambush us from the trees anymore because there are no trees. Right? It just wouldn't thematically make sense. Just checking how many we had, not using it. Oh, it also got rid of all defenses entirely. Oh. That's good for us. Okay. Weird. Weird. Uh, yeah, dropping a visit. Appreciate it. Oh, you're still going? Uh I mean, I'm just going to wait for them to die. I mean, there's no reason for us to do anything else, is there? Uh, you head over here. In this way. Yeah, so we can actually just position right back in the center here. And now all we need to do is aggro the enemy and then it should be good. Aggro the enemy, run over the fire. I don't know why I clicked trade there either. Uh, no, neither of them need healed. We're good. You could probably run over here to this bit of plane. So I do notice there are a few safe floor tiles in there. Maybe that's the idea as you're meant to group up on the safe floor tiles. Okay. And head through here. Right. Wait. This is great. Just wait for the enemy to die of natural causes. Well, I mean, fire is pretty natural, isn't it? Step here. Uh, you know what? Keep thunder on. Somebody can now take his spot, like Edelgard. Move Bernadetta down. Move you down here. Thinking about it, we probably want you over here. Right. 
Run over here, Ow. shoot me. Ugh. Hate that. Well, if I run forward, am I in range of anything else? Range of an archer. Do it. Now. Oh, they still spawn in, huh? This could turn the tides. That's um That's good to know. How does everyone feel about hitting us? Oh, they're all for it, huh? I see. Um Did I do that? I don't remember doing that. Understood. Okay. Bernie. I do this for all Step in the fire. Shoot them. Don't die. Still here. Didn't trigger, which is good. I'm awake. Drop in a heal. Back to it. Nice. Step back. I will prevail. What's our goal? Uh, conditions. Defeat all enemy commanders. Okay. Just want to know the exact rules. So, in theory, we kill them and Seteth. Seteth is so far back. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Well, if we were going to cheese it, what we should do is we should just ran along the right-hand side here and just cheesed it like that. That would have been so much easier. As it literally just went all the or sorry, down the left-hand side here. It's right if I do this. Like, go all the way down here and then just literally walk over and kill Seteth and random Knight of Saros, who is probably Shamir. Yeah, that is what we should have done. Uh, how many do I have? Two Divine Pulse Charges. Well, I might as well carry on in this, you know, universe because this is the way we're going to do it right now. How do I hit them and aggro them without aggroing them? I got it. I figured it out. It's a puzzle that had a solution, which confused me, but I got it. Well, one, there might be a secret time limit at some point, which would be useful. The second one is, what if we use uh, Aloise's little turret and just purely use it for poking? Like, poke, run away. And then just, yeah, just run all the way back. This is fine, this is all floor. I know she was standing next to it before. Now we're like... Yeah, let's get her all the way back over there. Uh, what's her dodge chance with uh, different weapons? I think the rapier had the best one, if I remember right. Rapier did indeed have the best one. That's okay. Just before we go into here. I could have moved here this last turn as well. Hit them. You're not gonna kill her. That's good. Hits really low. Love it. Right. So now what we do is start running. And there's absolutely nothing that it can do. Nice, we aggro two there. That's what I like to see. You know what I should do is I should move everybody here two steps back. Why? Well, that allows us two steps when they come in and attack us. Ready for anything? Which just makes sense, really. That would I'll cut a Otherwise, we're walking into the area that spawns enemies. Empire. Also, More it means fighting. that um, they have to walk all the way through the fire, Let's then get quick. to us. So they're as weak as possible when they get to us. 
which is Put a cool idea. This. What's my strategy? Huh, sweet of you. Nice. Right. They're now also aggro. It's like when they go near someone, they just aggro the whole lot. Uh, let's move out to the side slightly. Well, let's think about it. You're probably the one who's in range next, yeah? But that's actually, yeah, that is purely your range, because these guys aren't in range. Yeah, okay. Hey, Yuritsa. I have an idea for you. Uh, Silver Sword Plus. Wait. Do they move through the fire? Very low chance of hitting, and then, well, you know, they got blasted. Delightful. 35 for Yuritsa. Wonderful. Solid. Desire greater strength. Okay. Like it. Then I'm running forward with all of their heavy armor. Units, that's good. Um. Yeah, mark, and then just move back. Yuritsa can at any point go back to the front. Uh, and then we're just going to end. going to wait on it there. Take a step to the side. Wait. Let them take some damage. And then they'll start running in. Right. Um, that's fine. Just wanted to know what the rules were here. So let's start with a little, uh, little fire off to the side. To oh, a big fire off to the side. Another victory. Okay, not really worth that much XP to us. So maybe we shouldn't be the ones getting it, but that's okay. Lysithia, you want to go and be a uh, melee one here? Oh, that was horrible. Why did I do that? I kind of thought she'd survive one hit and then she just didn't. I probably didn't give her the extra health like it gave everyone else. More fighting. Oh no. It's like, do you want to be a melee character? Alright, I'm dead. Okay. There we go. It's win or die. Amazing. You know, instead of that, Lysithia, how do you feel about being a character whose range you actually are? I've got no time for mercy. One divine pulse. Okay, I have one more mess up. Well, that's why you put divine pulses in there anyway. You know, they didn't want them to be used, why would they put them in the game? Nice. No time to slow down. Uh, let's start preparing the next one. I will prevail. Move all the way over there. Nice thing about Petra, she moves so quickly that if they try and chase her, strategy? there is a good chance she can actually run from them. Okay, here, realistically, if we're aggroing wyverns, then what's going to happen is we need. Bernadetta and Dorothea together, and then everyone else piles on one. Basically. Understood. Ready for anything? I'll cut a bloody path. Uh, I'm just gonna move you back slightly. I'll move. Yeah, I'll move Lysithia back next turn as well. I'm awake. That's fine. Right, Lysithia back. Just rearrange the group slightly. There we are. Back in formation. It's okay. Right. Get to this thing. Ooh, it doesn't hit the wyverns. That is intriguing. Yeah, Petra's like, I'm out of here. I'm going back to Bridget. 
Okay, let's have a look. Your range is not there. Okay. Well, it would seem to me that my best move is to stand here then. With my rapier on and just go, well, hope I don't die. Well, this is good. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, then. It's straightforward. Well, Petra. You can kill this one. Witness Bridget Pride. That'll do for that side. This side. Ah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Not sure I like this. Wait. We only need to kill Sete. That what that's what needs to be remembered in this situation. Let me just read Sete's stuff. Just so we got this. So he's got the O chain shield, which negates critical hits, so you can't crit. It also restores HP each turn. Okay. Um allows unit to move, that's fine. Axe fair gains attack, gains Avil. He just gets a straight Avil plus ten. Okay. Faith, Lance, Defiant Strength. More strength when he's low in health. It nullifies effectiveness against flyers. Okay. So doing this, although it will be pretty sweet, won't actually do anything. This just does It literally does zero damage. <laughs> well, pretty much it does no damage. Okay, well. That tells me what we should do is we should have her just kill a, a wyvern, right? If she can't really hurt. She can do eight damage. Okay. She can do eight damage, say, right? How much can you do? With, let's say, Aura. That's not bad. That's 26. All right. Uh, 28 damage with the Levin Sword. 32 damage with Sublime Heaven. Okay, so we got 32 damage. He's got 70 health. How much can you do with Wind Sweep? The reason why I'm suggesting Wind Sweep is because, well, that way we can we don't die. Although you could use this scythe and do 25. But if I took uh, the sil not silver sword, the Levin sword, and use Wind Sweep, you do 20. Okay, so we got guaranteed 20 damage there. Uh, so it's guaranteed 20 plus. And you can do this from a square back as well. Plus, guaranteed 32. For guaranteed 52 damage. Okay. Which means we need to find another 18 damage. Right? Yeah. Another 18 damage. That would do it. Trespassing on holy ground is a grave sin indeed. You must atone for it with your life. Well. That will not do then, huh? <laughs> huh. Okay. Didn't expect it to just do nothing. How about you run in here? Oh, yeah. It turns out magic is the way to go. That was pretty good. Leveled up. Nice. Uh, so you can get in there, you can get in there. So we can 100% kill Sete. Right? The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm like, well, I might as well get the free XP while I'm here, you know? I mean, I haven't had any opportunities for farming lately, oh, so, you know. Pretty good, huh? Might as well take the opportunities while they come. Nice. Seems like fighting's I mean, too these days. Not really that much, but they have the health is okay. Use dance. I needed that. Step forward and do the same thing again. Nice. Unstoppable. So reliable. Um 
Well, you're gonna run in here and you're gonna do a little heal. Yeah. So much. That's level 34 for Ferdinand. Nice. I am not well pleased. No. Your strength isn't even that much higher than your magic. Kind of pathetic. Um. Well, I want to get the kill. I just want to see where we're at here. Seven health. Okay, well luckily we can't crit, right? Uh, there's nobody to do anything to? I might as well use stride, right? Yeah, you got some authority up. Anyone else got anything that we need to use? <laughs> Don't think so, I think that's everybody. Right, up here. Oh, don't use that one, use this one. Wind sweep. Now this isn't guaranteed, but it did hit. Let's take steps back. Head right up here. You know, as much as I don't want, like, I don't need to use this, right? But, it, do, it has a certain, uh, you know, a certain story element. Like, it, it fits nicely with our story to be using the sword of the creator to take down Seta. So let's do it. I have lived many years. Yet, there was still more I wished to do. We fought them off. Good work, everyone. We've repelled the principal force of the knights and defended Garrig Mok. Stage complete. Bernie, MVP. That was all right. Could have done it better. A few less missed clicks. I require a damage report at once. There's a lot of conversation in this one as well. I guess I was expecting paralogue level where there's like, you know, a bit at the start, a bit at the end. But yeah, this this was fairly straightforward. It was just kind of, you know, uh, we didn't. I guess the idea of this one is that you trigger an ambush, you deal with the ambush, and then you go through that side, uh, and then the other side. Like if you go through the center, then Aloise will attack the left. If you go through the left, then you can trigger things with Aloise's weapon. I think that was all deliberate. So, cool. Yes, Your Majesty. We will have to make inquiries about the status of the main army. Indeed. After all, it seems they had Rhea and Catherine fighting on their side. Oh, okay, so the, there was the uh, there was another battle we weren't involved in. Oh no, Randolph. No, I've got a bad feeling about this. I think Randolph is dead. Ladislava could also be dead. That would be, uh... That, that would be fairly heavy. Yeah? Well... Let's see. Let's see, I was... Lady Rhea, I am afraid I must report that we lost Sedeth and Flain. Ooh. We were able to make a clean sweep of those who came to attack us. The unit that invaded the monastery has been completely driven away. A bitter disappointment. I fear we can do nothing but retreat for now. Set it. Flame. First my mother, and now those two have been stolen away as well. Must you take everything from me? Lady Rhea. No amount of repentance will bring your wretched soul salvation. You will be chained to the Valley of Torment. Eternally walk the desert until the skin rots from your bones. I will ensure that you pay for your sins, Professor! In the name of the Nabatans, I swear it! I know this is serious, but we just got some, we just got some lore. That was a name drop, the Nabatans. Okay. Edelgard, your majesty, I am so sorry. Oh no, Randolph, how unexpected. Silence, 
We must tend to your wounds. Oh, he's alive. It will do no good. I can't be saved. You must know that. Oh, he's not. Vladislava has also passed. Oh. The enemy has withdrawn. You are safe now. They're both gone. Understood. Good work. <laughs> Un understood. Yeah, I know you're dying in front of me. Yeah, understood. Another loss on my watch. As more blood wets my feet, they grow heavier with each step. Remorse, resentment, despair. I have dispensed with all such things to come this far. And we must keep moving forward. Hubert, tell me the status of the enemy. The battle has ended in a draw with severe injuries on both sides. Some known commanders have been slain. The most worthy of mention among the dead was the second in command to Rhea herself, Sedith. With the death of Alois, the Knights of Saros have taken a huge blow as well. There would be another line here if uh, Shamir was with the group, but they weren't, so we're just going to skip that. Garrig Mok has not taken much damage, and so it would not be out of line to claim it as a victory for us. Yes, we'll call that a victory, although... I'm sure they will say the same. Yes, your majesty. Oh, what a terrible opponent that was! Why is the church always like this? How am I supposed to train for that? It was way too scary! When I saw the enemy enter Garrig Mach, I prepared myself mentally for death. Good to know that you have confidence in me. I thought it would be a fine time to die. But I suppose it wasn't quite the time after all. Our luck was good to have grabbed victory. The church has great strength. We must not have grief, but must keep fighting. Can we be fighting now? This was certainly a momentous victory. We lost a lot, but we also gained a lot. Certain lords in the kingdom have examined the situation again and decided to join our cause. Oh, cool. Changing their fealty based on just one battle. They are all a disgrace to the nobility. Today, our enemy held many faces I knew well. If we must fight to the death with that kind of opponent, what will become of this world? There's no stopping me! I'm ready to go strike the kingdom here and now! Everyone must see that we can easily unite Fodlan, don't you think? Excellent job, everyone. The battle is over now. While we have sustained heavy losses, our foe has suffered far more. Although not exactly as planned, a win is a win. It may be safe to say that there will be no more obstacles on our way to the next battle. We will break through the Tailteen Plains and then set course for Ferdiad, the Kingdom Capital. The final chapter of our fight with the Kingdom and the Church is close at hand. Okay, so not a lot on that next bit there. Although, you know, Randolph called it, Ladislava. I'll give me half points for that. Part 2. Crimson Flower. Lone Moon. Lady of Deceit. After a narrow victory over the Knights of Saros at Garrig Mach, the Black Eagle Strike Force hopes to secure a route to Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. I love how those are just like one-sentence things now. This is where you're at, in case you forgot. I know we just had a summary two seconds earlier, but you know. Here's another sum summary. I guess it's for people who just skip the dialogue. It's meant to be like, a, if you skip all the dialogue, here's, you know, you know a TLDR. I, I couldn't be bothered. Here, here's what it is. Ooh, something's happening on Sunday. The time has finally come to invade the kingdom capital. Or so I declared. In truth, we'll be advancing to a different location. Okay. Where? Only you and the rest of the Black Eagle Strike Force can know. Please bear that in mind. What's the plan? There is another location we must take before moving on to Ferdiad. 
South of the capital, there is a fortress city on the border of the Empire and the Kingdom. It is called Aryan Road, and we must take control of it at once. There are many mages within Aryan Road. We will also face Cornelia, a general of the Kingdom. We must also contend with Rodrigue, the head of House Fraldarius, as well as his troops. Once we defeat them, Aryan Road will be ours. I hear Cornelia has a suspicious magic weapon at her disposal. We must attack before the enemy can respond with defensive measures. That is why we are preparing an assault before even our allies are aware. Even within our ranks, there is no way to know with certainty that there is not a rat among us who would leak such information. When Aryan Road falls, we'll focus on striking Ferdiad from both the south and the east. The deeper we carve our way into kingdom and church territory, the more favorable our position. As ever, I'm counting on you, my teacher. Got it. Go kill mages. I can do that. No problem. Ooh, the second. Oh, St. Indech Day? Definitely. Hymn recital? Oh, I'm all about that. Wait, was St. Indech not... I may sound terrible, but you won't notice when everyone else sings, too. Was that not Seteth? Must I? Fine. But I will sing it solemnly. If it is, then this is just incredibly rude. And Tuesday. There's something happening on Tuesday. I'm not that curious to know what Ferdinand's doing. Sorry. And Wednesday. It's Yuritsa's birthday. Oh, he wants a tea party. Yuritsa, what have we got for you? You know what? I don't care. Tea of the Saints. What do you want? Sounds good to me. Thank you. Thematically, it works. Could be worse. Okay, what does he like? Death? Probably weapony things, you'd imagine. Ooh, there was something with Mercedes. Like, there was definitely some... Hmm, can't remember, but there was definitely something he liked that came out there. Hopefully it's not relevant. Let's talk. Yes. Last battle. Oh. Yep, yep. That's what he wants to talk about. Next one. Yes. Ooh, not cute monks, not gossip, so it has to be Fodlin's future. Oh. You're interested in gossips or monks? Okay. Hmm. Capable comrade sounds better than reliable allies. Oh. Yeah. Okay. At least it was nice. Thank you. Well, he's very polite, isn't he? Hey, and charm went up. That's cool. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. So, now we're on Sunday. Edelgard accepted the twin-headed eagle heavy armor that was delivered from the Empire and has obtained a certification for the Emperor class. Oh, did she now? With this power, I will cut my own path. Well, that's good to know, isn't it? Uh, what's up with that? Uh, hey. What's up with that? Um, uh, reclass? That's where I go, right? So she was an armored lord. She is now emperor. Emperor is a straight upgrade. Okay. It's just a straight upgrade. With unparalleled defense, Edelgard appears as an unstoppable force in the legendary armor of the Adrestian Emperor. So she gets more defense, more luck, more strength, and more health. Okay. And looks more badass. Well, that's just great. Uh, what have we got here? We got Anna Shop and we got Morale Meals. Rare monster sightings. We got no paralogues to do. Okay. 
I'm gonna get four weeks. Huh. Okay. No paralogs is interesting. Because no paralogs makes me think that maybe we might be able to get away with doing a lot of exploring. And the reason we want to do exploring is we want to get these last lot of supports done. So who have we got? Let's just have a look. So Ferdinand, that's our last one. We still need one with Edelgard and Kaspar. And Lysithia, Hanuman, Jameer, and Yuritsa. Hubert still needs one with Ferdinand. Okay, and that's it for him. Ferdinand still needs one of Hubert and Edelgard and Manuela. Bernadetta needs one of... She's got hers with Yuritsa. Okay, and that's the only one that she needs. Okay, Yuritsa only needs one of Bernadetta. Well, that's a nice pairing, isn't it? Uh, Dorothea needs one of Hanuman and Manuela. Petra... Hmm, needs... Needs none. Okay, so Petra needs none whatsoever. Interesting. Mercedes, we don't care because we'll be using our next route. Lysithia, we don't care about ours. We do care about Hanuman's because we've already seen ours. Manuela, Hanuman, Dorothea. Yeah, we've seen some of these before. Hanuman, same ones. And then Shamir, we've already done all of them. Yeah, effectively. Apart from ours. Yeah, okay. So we need a lot of them. So actually an explorer with a lot of eating could be good to get that pushed up. Yeah. And potentially buying a lot of gifts potentially could be good. How much money do we have? None. <laughs> Whatsoever. Uh, I'm just going to sell uh, this while I remember. That's our full money, so I'm going to have to do some fishing. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it might be best to do... Let's think about... How about... Explore... Battle for money. Ooh, actually, you know what it depends on? Depends on when our professor level goes up. Ooh, if our professor level goes up to A+, plus, or A star, or whatever, yeah, A+, plus, that would allow us an extra battle. So that what we could do is we could go explore triple money battle and then see where we're at. That could be really good. And then use the money to buy the gifts on the second explore. And then maybe do that. Yeah, it could work. I don't know if this is the last month. It, I don't think it is. I have to assume there's one more month after this. So raid Aryan Rod. That gets us the large fortress city. Go to the kingdom capital. And then, actually there might be a month afterwards. There was with the, um, yeah, there was one with the golden deer one. Because you went to the capsule, you dealt with Edelgard, and then you got another thing. So, hmm, maybe. Although I have heard this route is shorter, so maybe the, the other thing is cut out. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly do certifications. Um, which, if I just have a look, see if we've actually got anyone who has any certifications. We could get one. Okay, yeah, what have we got? Mortal Savant, Gremory. We are enlightened. I just want to see what, our, what it does. So that would just make us strictly worse than we are now. Gremory gives us a lot more magic than we have now. I'm kind of okay with where we're at. Only gives us one more stat point. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with where we are now. I think actually we just stay as an enlightened one. That's fine. Edelgard is going to stay as Emperor, her new class. Hubert still cannot reach his, but that makes sense because he's had no extra riding or lance training since last time. Ferdinand already has his. Uh, Lintar cannot access... Um, he would be going for Gremory, right? Or is he, oh, he's going for Holy Knight. He can't access Gremory, so he needs lance and riding. Same, same situation as Hubert, then. Caspar. Ooh, chance of Warmaster. That's not bad. That would greatly improve him. That like, uh, pushes his strength up by four. And gives him fist fair, axe fair, and just a straight 20 crit. Let's go for it. Yeah. Ooh. Studying hard. Hardly studying, apparently. That's a bad fail, but we can do it next week. Whoa. I failed? I am a little shocked, yeah. 
Bernadetta can try for Bow Knight. Now that would be huge for the extra range. Only a 47% chance. You don't need one. You don't need one. You cannot access anything. You're going for Mortal Savant, aren't you? Yes, that means you need to have Sword. Let me just check how she's doing in her Sword training. Uh, Okay, it's a D, so she could probably try it next month. Yuritsa doesn't need any. Uh, Shamir could also try Bow Knight at a 34%. No, nah. okay, the only one that we can do then. And Manuela can't do any of hers either. So the only one we can do is Bernadetta, 47%. Let's roll the dice. Come on. Yes, success. Stat up? I passed! I passed! <laughs> nope, no stat up, but that is a huge improvement for her. So she goes from uh, she goes from Sniper. So Sniper has bow range plus one and then bow fair, right? So she's it's alright. Actually gives her more decks than Sniper, weirdly. And then you go into Bow Knight, but that's bow range plus two. Now that's not just bow range, so it's the same stuff, but it's bow range plus two. It's not just bow range, it's every one of her abilities. So that now means that her base, means her base attack is four squares, which is insane. It means her base abilities, so like Curve Shot, Hunter's Volley, and Encloser, are now five square abilities. And Deadeye, I think is a ten square ability now? Let me have a look here. How, how long is Deadeye? So if I go to Bernadetta, Deadeye. Yeah, if, that, if that's a five. No, it's a seven square ability. Right? Yes, yeah, so that's usually two to three. So it's now. So, sorry, so that's now four to five. So that would actually be now a five to seven. Yeah, so that's a seven square ability. Encloser is now a. Yeah, now a four square ability. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good, I would say. Um, so that's pretty good. I like it. Why did we have to do the certifications now? Well, it's so that, well, I can click Explore. And why do I want to click Explore? Well, so I can go and do the fishing off camera and we can get into exploring next time. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.